Bonds payable. Let's assume that a business requires a 50 million loan for a new expansion. Banks might think that this is too risky for them, so they might reject this loan. The business might think of raising this loan through issuing of bonds. So, what is a bond? A bond is a part of a loan. In our case, the 50 million loan could be sliced into 50,000 bonds, each worth $1,000. It is easy to find a maximum of 50,000 investors who are able to invest $1,000 each in a bond. The bond usually pays interest either annually or semi-annually, and it is usually for a long period of time. It could be for 5 years or it could even reach 20 years. Let's assume that the business issued bonds that pay 6% interest annually. The bondholder is to pay $1,000 to the business and the business provides the bondholder with a bond certificate. At the end of year one, the bondholder receives interest of 6%, that is $60, and this is recurring for each of the five years of the bond's life. Then, at the end of the bond agreement, which we call maturity, which is the fifth year in our example, the business will return the principal amount of $1,000 back to the bondholder. Difference between a bond and a share in a company. A share is part of shareholders' equity, hence a shareholder is an owner. A bond is part of a liability, so the bondholder is regarded as a lender. A shareholder receives dividends. Dividends are distributed from retained income, which is the undistributed net income resulting from subtracting expenses from revenues. A bondholder receives interest, which is part of expenses that are deducted from revenues to get net income. Expenses are tax deductible, while dividends are not. In case of liquidation, bondholders get their full amount first before shareholders, since they are regarded as part of liabilities. Shareholders get what is left after all liabilities are paid. Types of bonds we are not going to cover all types of bonds here, but we will mention some of them. Secured bonds are bonds that are secured by a collateral such as a building. In case that the business defaults, bondholders has the right to take their investments from the proceeds of selling the building before any other debtor. Usually, those bonds bear lower interest as they are less risky. A convertible bond can be converted into specified number of shares, thus transforming the bondholder to a shareholder if they took the decision to convert. The bondholder can convert the bond into shares by returning the bond to the business and substituting it with shares. Zero coupon bonds do not pay interest during their life. Instead, they pay the accumulated interest together with the principal amount at maturity.